Welcome back to Dr. O Solutions. My name is Oleg Nikishin. I'm a Dr. O and founder of Dr. O Solutions. And in this video, uh, we will discuss vitamin C and ozone. Uh, I received many inquiries about uh, vitamin C injections in ozone. How, it, how it, would it interfere and what do we do because many of cancer patients or just simply other patients who are looking for good health do have uh, take large doses of vitamin C or do have vitamin C injections. Uh, so that's why specifically I want to cover uh, that topic, how vitamin C works with ozone. So you can find a few research papers, uh, especially on, on this Library of Medicine, uh, National Institute of Health, there are actually two papers there. And vitamin C com compound mixture prevent ozone induced oxidative damage. Uh, this paper covers pretty much how vitamin C protects you from any oxidative damage. Uh, so ozone is highly oxidative uh, gas. And uh, if you do have ozone, uh, ozone in the blood, so your blood will uh, have ozone, ozone level will be increased. So you will have ozone enema, or you will have ozone rectal insufflations, or your direct uh, ozone infusions in the bloodstream. And if you do have vitamin C in it, and would they interfere with one another? So that's why I want to specifically uh, perform a few tests, live tests for you. You will see yourself how it works. So what we have here, so we have Dr. O solutions of ozone generator, oxygen, and we've been ozonating this, uh, this water for, for a while, about for 15 minutes now. Uh, I ozonated it with 1.8 liter per minute. And what we have here, so we have vitamin C powder and we have ozone uh, test in the water. So what we will do right now, assuming, so this is your ozone water, so, and it will be like ozone in the blood. So what we will do, we will test first how much ozone we have in the water right now. And we will do that with Dr. O solution dissolved ozone in water kit. Then we'll add to this, uh, to this solution, to the, the, that's, that's not solution to the water, ozonated water, we will take, we will put in vitamin C and we will test this solution again, how much ozone will be after we add vitamin C in the water, in the ozonated water. So, uh, let's test the, the concentration of ozone in, in the water right now. So again, we will, for that purpose, we will use Dr. O Solutions uh, ozone uh, in water test kit. So we'll put 20 milliliters of that water in a while. Oops, good, perfect. So we will add test solution to it. Each drop represents half of, half of ppm. So in other words, uh, next, drop you will add to it if it turns blue you have to deduct one in order to know how much um, how much ozone in the water for instance uh, we will add two drops of this solution to the vial that means half plus half will be one ppm and solutions will stay clear we'll take third drop and solution will turn blue that means there is no more ozone in it. that means so the, 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 the dissolved ozone level will be 1 ppm. In other words, we deduct one drop from, from a total, total drops added to it. So I know, and I can estimate for 15 minutes, probably with this room temperature, this, the, uh, the concentration will be about 8, uh, 4, to, uh, 4 to 5 ppm. So we need to add about, we'll start from, uh, from a 6 drops to Three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, we deduct one. So if it turns clear, that more than three 
and a half ppm in it. Eight, nine, ten. So ten. Ten it just turned blue. That means so we have ten minus one divided half. So it's a it's a four uh, it's a four and a half ppm dissolved ozone in this water right now. Okay, what we will do next, we will add half a gram of vitamin C powder, and this is a biotic mixed ascorbate powder that contains mixed uh, ascorbate, calcium ascorbate, and magnesium ascorbate. This is a very, very good uh, vitamin C uh, powder. So when we add half a gram per, uh, per 500 milliliters, that will give us 1,000 ppm vitamin C uh, di dissolved solution in the, in the regular water. So and we have 4.5 uh, ppm uh, dissolved ozone in the water. Let's see what will happen. It's still muggy, but it's almost dissolved. So let's continue. So what we'll do now, so we add it to the vitamin C to uh, ozonated water. So put again 20 milliliters. Just a little more. That's it. And we, we will add again, but now I know there is ozone no ozone in it, so we'll start for one drop. It, yes, it's already half the yellow, uh, the, uh, the bluish, uh, the bluish color to it, as you can see. Yeah. So just one drop, that means there is no ozone in this water. So again, we uh, made the 1,000 ppm dissolved vitamin C uh, in, the, in uh, ozone, um, ozonated water, and 1,000 ppm completely destroys ozone virtually in a few seconds. So why this test is important, and I would, in this test I would like to just to show you how it actually works. Again. If you have a cancer, if you do take vitamin C shots, or if you take large doses of vitamin C, you take any other antioxidants, there are many of them, you take the green juice in the morning and you want to follow up it with ozone treatment. So just remember this test. So vitamin C would completely destroy ozone within the seconds. In other words, if you, again, if you do take antioxidants including the juice that could be even the um, uh, orange juice uh, any uh, citric acid if it might have it as well some vitamin C in it uh, so if you take that antioxidant in the morning you go to the clinic or you do it at home and you're trying to do ozone therapy treatments right after it you will not have the benefits of ozone therapies because ozone will hit your bloodstream, but your bloodstream will have a lot of antioxidants and immediately will destroy ozone before ozone will start enzymatic reaction in the blood. It's not necessarily will be not completely beneficial for you. It will have some benefits because you're going to have some oxygen, uh, oxygen in the bloodstream, but to start enzymatic, full enzymatic reaction with ozone, so you will not need to have uh, antioxidants in your bloodstream. So what my recommendation, if you do take vitamin C shots or if you do take antioxidants in the morning, you have to at least wait half a, half a day, six to maybe eight hours, maybe even longer, before you 
start doing ozone uh, therapy. And again, if you uh, do vitamin C in the morning, do it at night, the ozone therapy is at night, you, you take vitamin C at night, so that means you can safely do uh, ozone therapies in the noon time. So that's all folks, so this was very, uh, very short video, but I think it would be very helpful to actually, you can see it yourself, how vitamin C works with dissolved ozone in the water. So that's all folks, again, uh, please join us on the Facebook, we do have a medical ozone research group on the Facebook, it's a private group, but you can join it, uh, there are many practitioners, many doctors, and people all over the world that using ozone and sharing uh, experience we have very good stories there just just join it and read the stories uh, share your experience uh, many uh, many many uh, questions people asking and some of them you can answer uh, those questions among yourself I think this is very helpful again if you like this video give us a give us a thumbs up and just click on that bell if you want to if you want to to have notification over the email so we upload uh, the new videos for you there are many new upcoming and new and upcoming videos coming uh, when we will perform the live tests uh, so I think that will be very interesting and we'll see you in the next video